What's going on everybody? My name is Justin Gotsi for Justin Gotsi TV. Thank you so much for checking out tonight's video. Now tonight we're going to be talking about the Hank Conger deal as he has been dealed, dealt to the Houston Astros in exchange for two minor league prospects. Catcher Carlos Perez will be going to the LA Angels as also as Nick Torpiano, a right-handed pitcher, will also be going to LA in exchange for Hank Conger. And I really do like this deal a whole lot because when you go into full detail about this deal, the LA Angels are have a farm system which has some great talent. There's a lot of guys I've gone through, you know, guys like Cole Calhoun, a hitter, um, an outfielder who's, you know, currently, I think, a backup outfielder for the LA Angels at this current time. Um, but this team has been, you know, has been losing a bunch of, you know, legitimate rising talent. You know, a lot of them have gone through this, you know, time where, you know, they get so hot when you're about to, you know, get the, even the call up, then all of a sudden they just fall down. But the LA Angels are a team that needs to start, you know, strengthening their farm system. And Hank Conger is a good name that has came up through that farm system and has been staying consistent. You know, I saw him play at the Salt Lake City Bees at Triple A. You know, when he got the call up just a couple of years ago to become the, you know, permanent backup to Chris Iannetta, I was very excited because I expected a whole lot from him. You know, being a guy who have watched him, you know, you know, face to face, you know, watching him play, it's, it, he's a very, you know, excellent defensive catcher. You know, he's not going to go out there and wow you with 25 home runs a year or even close to 15. He's a guy who's going to give you, you know, a very minimum amount of home runs. Maybe he can average at least nine a year um, if he's to play a full season. I think that's what Hank Conger can really prepare for. Um, but other other than that, he's a great defensive catcher. You know, he can he hits for the average. He doesn't hit for you know the fences. So that's primarily what you're getting out of them. But when you really look at it, who's going to be the backup now for the LA Angels? You know, the LA Angels, like I said, do have Chris Iannetta. You also got to keep a good eye out for Jackson Williams. Now, a lot of people who are not too familiar with Jackson Williams, Jackson Williams actually played for the Colorado Rockies. He was acquired just I think last week from uh, from Colorado. They placed him on waivers. Um, they did not. They decided you know to not designate him for an assignment down to. Triple A, um, so they picked them up on waivers, and this is a pretty interesting deal because there's a couple of catching prospects at Triple A um, the LA Angels could turn to, but you know what? They want to go with the guy who has that major league experience, and Jackson Williams does have it. He has not played, you know, an entire full season with Colorado. He's primarily been, you know, in the farm system since he was drafted in 2007. Um, so he's actually, you know, had a, you know, came up for a quick cup of tea, you know, for the past couple of seasons with the Colorado Rockies. Nothing too, um, you know, too, you know, set on and, and too set stone for him. So, you know, it's just a matter of time until, you know, they officially name him the backup. I think the LA Angels are still going to end up calling up a couple of guys to really, you know, get, get some time during spring training and, you know, during the offseason team activities, whatever they want to do. I don't know if they, if they do even do that. So, you know, I think it's going to be a great idea that, you know, they're giving a, a guy like Jackson Williams a full-time opportunity at a backup role. You have him learn from one of the best catchers. Um, I'm not saying the best catchers in all of Major League Baseball, but one of the best catchers in the division in Chris Iannetta. Um, I still think those, he, he can really improve a whole lot. As this Angels team is very, very solid. I, I still think that the catcher's position is still, you know, a position that's up for grabs that really needs to step up out of every other position in their infield. So when you go and look at it, I think, you know, catchers, the catcher position needs to be strengthened up a little bit. But, you know, for what they have right now, with Chris Iannetta is going to work out very, very well. Now, when you go and turn over to the Houston Astros, like I said with Kate and Conger, I really do like this a whole lot. You know, the Houston Astros are a team that's been rising, 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 rising. A lot of people do not give them a lot of credit because of the fact that they keep on coming in last place over the past couple of years. But when you go and look at what they have done over the past few years and, you know, the the, the amount of prospects, you know, they've been, you know, been, they've been, you know, in last place for the past few years. But look at who they've been getting in the draft. They've got Mark Appel, um, guys like, you know, the, the Lionel D Shields. These team, this team drafts very smart. So when you go down the line and you look into their future, they'll have guys like a Mark Appel, Gold Glover. They got Dallas Keekley. Uh, they also got Brad Peacock. You also got to look at guys like Jonathan Singleton. I mean, this team has done so well at gaining teams prospects, top prospect. Look at Jonathan Singleton. Uh, they got Chris Carter, uh, Matt, uh, Dominguez, uh, Mar Marwin Gonzalez. You also got to look at Dexter Fowler, who they got in free agency. George Springer. The line of the shields. That is a team that's going to be so dominant in the near future, and then we're going to end up seeing you know, Houston being from the worst team in the first place. I'm going to say this you know, right on the button. I really do like this, and you know what? Yes, uh, Hank Conger is not going to be an instant starter when he comes over to Houston. He's going to be contributing a whole lot to this younger team. This is one of the youngest teams in baseball, one of the most highly talented, highly you know, you know, stacked with prospects. This Houston Astros team is going in such a great direction. I really do enjoy with the fact that they do have guys 
guys like Jose Altuve, George Springer, Dexter Fowler, Dominguez, uh, Marlon Gonzalez. You know, this team is really, really, really set to go to war. You know, for in, down the line in Major League Baseball to you know get back into being in that winner circle back in the early 2000s, where you saw guys like Craig Biggio, Jeff Bagwell. Those are the that's the glory days of Houston Nationals baseball. Since then, this is the team that went down and you know went down in the dumps, went down to the last place. But like I said, look at who they have acquired. You know, in the draft, in free agency. This team is really well set to go, and like I said, you know, with Hank Conger, he's not going to go in there and be an instant starter. He's going to be a legitimate backup, a much better option than Carlos Corporan, who is going to end up possibly starting the season down at AAA. Um, he is he just not he's not a consistent you know catcher as a backup. He, he's not really that dependable. But Hank Conger can be a guy that you can really turn to you know on you know on Sundays as backups, or they need a pinch hitter. And I think Hank Conger is going to be a right move for the Houston Nationals. So I really do like this deal. Very equal trade here. So let me hear your guys' opinion about this. Hank Conger goes to the Houston Astros in exchange for two minor league prospects. I'm Justin Gotti for Justin Gotti TV. I'll catch you guys next time.